Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'm going to be doing a pizza pan craft. So I started by taking the pizza pan and sanding it so the paint sticks better. Use mineral chalk paint and I did one coat on the front, one coat on the back, and I did a couple coats on the edge. After that was dry, I took a super jumbo craft stick and put it on the edge and just marked off lines. So I used the craft stick just for a guide for my lines and to get my spacing just about the same. And I did that all the way around. Next I took some black chalk paint and filled in every other little section I made and I did one coat of that all the way around. And then I took this bumblebee burlap fabric I get from Dollar Tree, held it on the inside of the pizza pan, and marked out my line with a Sharpie and cut that out. And then on the center of the pizza pan, I added a generous layer of Mod Podge. I placed down my fabric and then use my heating tool to heat it up and push down the fabric just so it sticks and is completely dry. And then I took some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and hot glued that all around the fabric. And then I took these two wood slices that I got from Hobby Lobby. One is a little larger than the other. I painted one of them on one side with black chalk paint, and the other one I used a yellow acrylic paint. Once the yellow one was completely dry, I took some painter's tape and marked off little sections and filled in lines with the black chalk paint. Next I took the nautical rope and made like a figure eight out of it and cut off the excess. Once I had my shape down, I just took the two ends of that piece I cut, hot glued it together, and then in the center where I had glued it, I just pinched it and hot glued the center together to create that figure eight shape. And then I had this doily napkin from Dollar Tree and I coffee stained it and hot glued one end of that figure eight onto the doily and cut out that piece. And then I did the same thing to the other end. And I did make two of those. One was a little bit smaller than this one. Next, I added on some twine, hot glued it to the back, and then just wrapped it around a few times. And I did that to both of those that I made. Next, I took the wood round pieces that I had painted, hot glued them 
to the center of the pizza pan, kind of at an angle, and then took my two little nautical rope wings and hot glued them to the center of the bee. And then I took some wire and wrapped it around the paintbrush handle a few times and then cut a piece down. These are the antennas. So I'm just getting the shape down and then I will hot glue them to the top of the bumblebee head. Next, I need to make a bow. So I'm taking this ribbon and it's two and a half inches and I cut it in half, each of them. So it was two pieces of ribbon cut down. So I'll have four pieces of each. Then I took this raffia and made a couple bunches of that. And then I take each piece of ribbon one at a time. I pinch the center of it and then hold it in my hand, keeping it nice and pinched. And I make like an X shape in my hand, alternating different fabrics and raffia until it's completely filled in. Once I have it filled in, I take a piece of twine, wrap it around the center where I was holding it, and tie it nice and tight. And then I flip it back over and trim up all the pieces of ribbon that are too long, just to make sure they all sort of match. And I take the pieces of ribbon and separate them and pull them up towards the front. Then I need to make a hanger, so I added some more nautical rope on the back with hot glue. And then I took a couple pieces of the fabric that I used from the front and just hot glued that right over the nautical rope. And then I take some boxwood and a couple little pieces of floral. I don't know exactly where I got it. But the boxwood came from Walmart. I put the bunch together and use some floral tape to hold it together in the center. So I'm just hot gluing one piece. So once I have that together, I hot glue it to the top right below the hanger. And then I hot glue the bow right on top of that. And that's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.